Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And yes, this is a voice video as you can hear. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make your very own profile picture, such as the one that you can see on screen right now. And this tutorial is made completely for beginners so that anyone can follow it easily. Now, let's get right into the video. Okay, so before you start, you need to make sure that you have Roblox Studio installed and we also need to create a new folder on your desktop or anywhere just to make sure that everything's organised. As you can see here, I'm creating a new folder and you can name it whatever you like. Now the next thing you need to do is open Roblox Studio and open a blank base plate. Once you have opened up Roblox Studio, you need to make sure that you have the Explorer and Toolbox windows open. If you do not see them, then you can enable them by clicking on the View tab at the top and then selecting on the Explorer and Toolbox icons. Now, the next step is to insert your character. To do this, we need to install the Load Character plugin. Go to the Toolbox window and click on a drop down menu where it says Models. Select the option which says plugins and it should appear on the list by default. If you do not see it here then you can always search for it at the top. Once you find the plugin, click on it and click on install. Now once you have installed the plugin, click on the plugins tab at the top and click on load character. You should see a pop up appear. Click on the white text box and enter the name of whoever you are making a profile picture for. If you are making a profile picture for yourself, then enter your own username. And then you can select whichever rig you want to spawn. To keep things simple, I'm going to spawn R6 for this video. You should now see your character appear onto the base plate. If you want to pose your character, then you can do so by opening it up in the explorer. You can select the body parts you want to pose in the explorer and then you can rotate, scale and move them using the tools in the home tab. If you are going to pose your head, then you need to make sure that you have all of the hats that you are wearing selected. You can also change the increment of the rotation and movement by going to the model page. I will time lapse me posing the rest of my character. Once you have finished posing, you need to go to the explorer and right click your character model and then click on export selection. And then you need to save it to the folder that we have created earlier. You can set the name of your file to anything. Once you are done, open the folder which you have saved the file to. You can close Roblox Studio whilst you are doing that. Now, go into the 3D model object and right click. Hover over the open with option and click on 3D Viewer. You should now see your Roblox character with a background like so. Now we need to adjust our camera angle for our final render. You can do this by using the left mouse button to rotate around your character and you can use the middle mouse button to zoom in and out. And then you can use the right mouse button to change the position of the camera. Now all that there's left to do is to configure the lighting. On the right side of your screen you should see a panel which consists of different presets which you can choose. Choose whichever one you like the best and then if you scroll down you should see a light rotation option and 
you need to adjust this to whatever you like. I like to make it so that there's a slight shadow on the side of your face. And if you scroll to the very bottom, you can change the lighting options in more detail. And you can just mess around with the settings to make it suit your needs. Once you have set up everything to your preferences, it's time to render. Click on file at the top left and click export image. Make sure you have the file type set as PNG and the resolution set as 1440 HD. And then tick the box which says transparency and untick the box which says render shadows. Once you have done that, click on export and save it to the file folder which we have created earlier at the start of the video. Now if you go to the folder you should see that you have a rendered image of your character. Now the final stage of making your profile picture is editing. If you want you can use whichever editor you wish. However, in this video I'll be using Photopia.com as it is a free alternative to Photoshop. Open up a new project and make sure that you set the width and height to 1000 pixels each as I'm doing on screen right now. Set the background as transparent and then click on create. You should now see an empty square. You need to insert the render of your character that we made earlier and we can do this by clicking file and then clicking on insert and place. Now resize your character's render by holding shift and dragging on one of the four corners. Once you've done that, you need to select it and move it down to the bottom of the screen. Then click on the check mark icon at the top to confirm. Now right click the layer with your character on it in the layers panel and click on blending options. Here we can add stroke which is an outline to your character and we can also add a drop shadow. You can copy my settings which I have done but you can also adjust it to however you wish. Now finally we need to add a background to your profile picture. You can insert any picture that you wish by clicking file and open and in place. I'm going to be using a blue swirl image that I have created and if you want this image then you can get it by joining my discord server and the link to that will be in the description. The background image from my discord server is already scaled to the right size to fit the entire background of your profile picture. However, if you're using another image and it does not fit the correct size, then you can simply just resize it from the corners to make it fit. Once you've done that, click on the check mark icon again to confirm. Also, one thing to note is, if you insert the background and it covers your character's render, then the way to fix it is by going to the layers panel and dragging the background layer to the bottom. Congratulations, you have finally finished your profile picture. Now finally, the last thing to do is to save it. And you do that by clicking file and hovering over export as. Make sure that you select the PNG option and then it should download the picture for you. And now you can open up your picture and here it is. That is the final result and you can set it as a picture on YouTube, Discord, Twitter and anything you want. If 
you found this tutorial helpful then I would really appreciate it if you left a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. That's all from me guys, peace out.